Breaking tonight, an urgent warning for parents before your kids eat any more Halloween candy. Parents in Rowan County called the sheriff's office after their son found a needle in his candy. They say the 12 year old boy was stuck with a needle that was inside a small Snickers bar. NBC Charlotte's Richard Devane is in Rowan County with the latest. Yeah, this is not the type of trick that parents or the sheriff's department wants to deal with investigating what may be in trick or treat candy. It does rip you insides to know that something I did as a child is not safe to do anymore, and I really don't know how you fix it at this point. Rowan County Sheriff David Auten on the very sour discovery of two county residents reported finding small metal objects in Halloween candy from the same subdivision. People can't even go out and take their kids out to trick or treat and have something like this happen. Uh, he uh, bit into a Snickers bar. Uh, you know, it was a mini, mini miniature. And he come in there and he said, Dad, I, he said, there's something hard in this candy. Howard Peacock Jr. says he took his kids to Grace Ridge Community. And when they returned, his 12 year old bit into a mini Snickers bar and was stuck by this needle. He required a trip to the hospital. This morning, another resident also reported to sheriff deputies that they went to the same neighborhood, also found a piece of a metal object inside a mini Snickers bar. Both residents say the candy did not appear to have been tampered with. Peacock hopes it's a case of some sort of factory malfunction and not someone intentionally putting these objects in the candy. I hope it wasn't placed in there. I hope didn't nobody over there do this. Yeah, and the investigation continues. The Sheriff's Department says if you have not checked out candy and there's still some left, please do so. We're here in Rowan County, Richard Devane, NBC Charlotte.